This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got our next guest, Matthew Dixon, all the way from New Brunswick. Welcome to FYI. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be able to say welcome to Smith Falls. You're going to be coming here to Smith Falls to do some speaking. So you are the founder of Mind Aid. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so I, I'm from New Brunswick. I've had lived experience of mental illness. I've got schizophrenia. It took me many years to get better, but I did. I'm doing well now. And for years, my heart went out to people with mental illness in developing countries or in war-torn countries. Because for me, I felt like I was living in a war zone myself in a sleepy part of Canada. And a lady saw me walking down the street in my hometown in my worst year in 1994. And she said that I looked like I was walking through a world of flying glass. I'm like, yeah, that's what it felt like, just uh, terrified for no reason, no reason to be terrified, just that's what your brain chemicals do. And so it wasn't until about 2017 when I found the first bit of information online about mental health in developing countries, and that was a TED Talk by Vikram Patel. And I started researching the cause. A lot of the information about, excuse me, about the cause is scattered across the web but there are groups involved helping and i've put them on one site my website mindaid.ca so that's uh, i'm trying to tout that but at the same time there's a man from uh, harvard university his name's Sh shakar saxena he spoke at the un recently in the last few years or so and he said that every country in the world when it comes to mental health care is a developing country so there are we all, I mean, are, we've got great advancements in, in healthcare in, in the Western world, but we, there are other parts of it that are classified as, from what he says, a developing country's mental health care system. And it's, uh, so I'm, I'm trying to help people wherever I can. I want to give people an option. If pe I know there are people out there who knew that if some countries, I mean, some countries have one psych psychiatrist per million people. Some people are actually kept in chains in some countries with mental illness. And Robin Williams' son, Zach Williams, is helping promote uh, unchaining of people, as well as Allison Janney of the uh, TV show The West Wing, and Tim Shriver, uh, the founder of the Special Olympics. They've got a platform called Hashtag Break the Chains. And I tout that on my website, too. I, I, they, I, my website, I tried to... I've put as many groups as I can find helping the cause in developing countries all on one site. So it's kind of a, a hub for the cause. I'd like to see it get more traction than it uh, than it has been getting. But uh, as far as I know, it's the, it's the only website of its kind in the world. There are other groups doing more advanced work than I'm doing. For me right now, it's just me and a website and social media, YouTube, TikTok. But I'm wanting to be a platform, a voice for this because it's uh, that's something that I can do. Well, it sounds so, like you're in the process of building the reputation so people know that you're a resource, you know, and, and because of technology, you could be a global resource for people. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would so love that. So I, the, uh, the pandemic hit, so I couldn't really do much traveling. My public speaking, I, I tried public speaking in 2019. I, it was okay, but I still hadn't uh, gotten uh, as far along enough in my recovery as I'd wanted to. I still had trouble taking charge of a group a little bit. But as uh, I've just I've improved weekly for years and years and years. And in the last it was this January 2022 and my public speaking started to take off. I had more confidence in just uh, getting up there and doing it, taking charge of the room. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm great, but I'm I'm happy with this. I was on CBC New Brunswick TV recently, CBC Newfoundland Radio. And I've spoken at a couple of high schools and I'm wanting to, I'm, I said, I, I've been wanting to speak across Canada for years. And I think I finally got the house to do, it, to do this. I've set up some, uh, some venues in Eastern Ontario. I wanna work West through Ontario, Prairies, BC, uh, through the rest of the year. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, so. so you're gonna be in Smith Falls on, uh, you're gonna be here July 11th here in Smith yep. Falls, and you're going to be in surrounding areas as well around that time. Uh, Brockville, uh, Cornwall, Alexandria, is that what you said you're going to start there? 
Alexandria is the first one, then Cornwall, and then Smith Falls, Brockville, and then Kingston. That's what I've got set up so far. And I'll add more as time goes on. I'm, I'm thinking Belleville, Peterborough, Kitchener, Guelph, uh, St. Catharines maybe, and then uh, up further north into Ontario. And yeah, I'll keep adding those as I, as I go on. Excellent. So July 11th, you're going to be here in Smith Falls. It starts at 630. Can you talk about uh, what's going to happen? What's it going to be like? So I'm, I'm wanting to, I know so many people are struggling with mental health issues and I'm trying to help wherever I can. I don't have the health right day to, health today to go to developing countries and help on the ground right there. I've been across Canada. I bicycled across Canada when I was 20. Before I got too sick with my disease, I was taking engineering at the University of New, uh, New Brunswick and I loved that trip. But shortly after I got this disease, 94, two years after I did the trip. And I've been chomping at the bit to travel across Canada again. I just love it. And now I've got a, a, a real, like a, a cause behind me. I want to help people with mental health issues. I've, I've read hundreds of books on how to get myself better on all sorts of things. And I'm trying to share that with people. I won't be talking about medications or counseling. I know those are huge. Those are two of the big things that helped me the most. Books I read were on, uh, I read books by Navy SEALs, Olympic athletes, top CEOs, because they're all trying to help improve their mindset. And I know a lot of people think, well, you know, with depression or mental anxiety or, or mental illness of any kind, uh, your thoughts just make you think things that you don't want to think. They take control. They, they make you do and do and think things that you don't want to do or think. And, but there are parts of your brain that you can control, that you do have, there, there's things that we're not taught in school about people skills. I've read tons of books on people skills. I'll, I'll be talking about that. And I, I just, there's tons of things that I'd like to share with people, things that have really helped me just lower my stress level, uh, help me cope better, just, just general life skills and uh, mental health tricks and tips that I've, I've been learning for years. Some things that I've, uh, I've read tons of books, there's some things that really stand out, and I'll be mentioning some books too that are that I've been telling people over and over for years that have helped me so much. Well, I totally respect the fact that you're you're sharing your your journey with schizophrenia yourself, uh, and I mean, who better to listen to than somebody who's inflicted with it as well? Too, you're not just you know somebody that went to school or somebody that knows somebody, or you 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 have it and you've been diagnosed with it, and who better to learn from? And you're sharing your story, so that I, I respect that—that that you're going to be so open. I mean, open. You're going to go across Canada with this, so good on you for doing that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I, 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 I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to being in Smith Falls. And the other thing I wanted to mention was I, for a few of the other events so far, I've got a couple of mental health uh, advocates who are going to share the stage with me as guests. So they'll speak and I'm putting, uh, they said, Matthew, you can do that for other events too. So I'm like, sure, if there's anybody in Smith Falls, uh, a mental health advocate or someone who, want, who has uh, some messages to share, uh, you're welcome to get up on the stage with me. I, I, I'm, I'm also the other thing is when I'm there, I'm looking forward to meeting other people in the mental health field if they want to chat. Um, I'm. Uh, people with schizophrenia, uh, family members of people with schizophrenia, I can talk to them. I'll, I, I'm open to that sort of thing. So Excellent, excellent. So now how do people get a hold of you? Uh, let's talk about how to get tickets. How do people get a hold of you if they want to uh, share the stage with you, more or less? Is, is it, would you like them to get a hold of you first? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, okay. sure. So uh, my, <clears throat> my, my website's mindaid.ca, M-I-N-D-A-I-D.ca. And there's a tab there called events. The event listings are all there. That's up at the top of the page. And under the contact, set, uh, contact section, you can reach me at my, the email is there. My email is there, info at mindaid.ca. I'm also on Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh, people can reach out to me uh, however they're comfortable. So. Excellent. And how do you get tickets? Uh, Eventbrite, the uh, at the mindaid.ca under events that goes to the Eventbrite page with all the events I've got there so far, and I'll be adding more as time goes on. You can click on the the Smith Falls Eventbrite page, and people can register there. 
Excellent, excellent. Well, again, I think this is going to be a, a wonderful uh, thing that you're doing for people uh, in this area, and it's so nice that you're, you're spreading yourself around, too, because uh, there is a wide catchment area around here, too, that uh, are going to benefit from listening to you, for sure, for sure. But you're going to be actually here in Smith Falls, July 11th, that's a Monday at 6.30. Go to Eventbrite to get the tickets, and uh, if you want to share the stage with you, uh, they, they can give you a, shoot you off an email. Yep, for excellent, sure. Excellent. Well, is there anything so else you'd I, like to, to add before we wrap up? Yeah, so the uh, I, I want to give these events away for free. I'm just looking for a way a way to pay my expenses on this trip to, to try the travel expenses. And I'm charging $20 for the event. Part of me wants to get, just give them away for free. On my mindaid.ca under the donate section, there is a spot there for my Patreon page and my PayPal donation page. If people want to help me uh, give, you know, a dollar a month, five dollars a month, ten dollars a month to help me do this, because I want to be I want to be public speaking about this for years. Uh, Jane Goodall, the environmental and chimpanzee advocate, has been a real role real role model for me. She's been traveling for over 40 years, 300 days a year, and uh, she was at home through COVID. But I I would I aim to be someone like her uh, when I reach that age. So. Yeah, that's a that's an amazing goal. Good for you. Good for you. We need to shoot for the stars, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, well, thank you very much for joining us, Matthew Dixon from Mind Aid, uh, joining us all the way from New Brunswick today. But you're going to be here in Smith Falls on July 11th to uh, get tickets for your event. Go to your your website and you get the tickets on Eventbrite. Thanks for joining us, Matthew. Thanks so much for having me, Kathy. Really appreciate this.